Now I'm going to share a trick where you can use the Boolean value columns, right? So here, if you look at it, the data type of this column is Boolean. You can use that to calculate proportions used. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Aveda Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the series where we are trying to learn Python by solving interview questions from top tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. If you are preparing for any of these roles, this is a great series to follow and try to build your concepts. So, yeah, let's jump right in. In this video, we are going to solve this question on status scratch regarding win to nomination ratio. This question has been asked in Netflix interviews and it's a great question if you're preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst or ML engineer roles. Okay, the question reads, calculate the win to nomination ratio for each nominee, output the ratio and the nominee's name, order the results based on the ratio in descending order to show nominees with the highest ratio on the top. Okay, so we are given a data frame called Oscar nominees and our expected output is a pandas data frame with two different columns, nominee and the ratio and this is sorted in descending order by ratio. If we look at the Oscar nominees data frame, it has several columns, I think six columns, right? And uh, it is year, category, nominee, movie, winner and ID. So there are only two columns that we are concerned about. Firstly, the name of the person that is the nominee and whether the person won or not. Now I'm going to share a trick where you can use the Boolean value columns, right? So here, if you look at it, the data type of this column is Boolean. You can use that to calculate proportions using mean. But how do I know I need to calculate proportion? Here, if you look at it, we went to nomination ratio. So basically, total number of times the person nominated should be in the denominator and number of times the person won. So that is basically proportion of winning. Okay, now why does the mean method work? So just think about, let's say there are two rows, both of James Franco. In the first nomination, the person won and in the second nomination, the person did not win. So what is the win to nomination ratio? Number of times the person won is 1. Number of times the person was nominated was 2. So the time the person won and the times the person did not win. So 1 divided by 2. So you see how calculating a mean on this column called winner can give you a proportion because false means 0, true means 1. So if you calculate the mean, so how do you calculate the mean? You sum the values. So 1 plus 0 is 1 and divide by the number of observations. So 1 and 0 combined are two different observations. So 1 divided by 2. So you see that is what we are going to employ in this case. So since we need the proportion for every particular employee, then what we can do is we can do group by the nominee column and then we use the dot aggregate method that you have learned about and used various times in this series earlier as well. What is the final name of the column that we want? We want it as ratio. How are we going to get this column? We take the winner column, right? So winner column, which is a Boolean data type. Remember, Boolean data type is the only data type this trick works with. So winner and what we need to basically do is we need to perform a mean. Okay, since we group by the nominee and that column is required as a column in our output. So we do dot reset index. Now let me go ahead and run this. Now if you see here you have the nominee and the ratio of win to nomination. So basically this person has won zero times out of the number of times they have been nominated. Okay, but the question is not finished yet. We need to also sort this by descending order of ratio. So we write dot sort values then by which column we are going to sort ratio and in descending order. So we need to write ascending is equal to false. Okay, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get. So here you have various nominees and the ratio sorted in descending order. If we look at it, our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases. Let me view the output in a separate browser tab. So if you look at it, everything is green and this is how we do it. Okay, so what we did was firstly, we grouped by the nominee column and then use the winner column to calculate the mean that is going to give you the win to nomination ratio. Then we reset the index because nominee does not need to be as an index. It needs to be as a column in our output. And then we sorted the values by ratio in descending order. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.